My friend's bike has a problem. Basically, the, it's the wheel stuck in the frame. I don't know what the problem is, so stick around and we'll find out together. So as you can see here, it, it just won't move forward. Like a good friend, I'm not just going to fix that. I'm going to inspect the rest of the bike. And as you can see, the bar tape is kind of ratty. And I guess I'll have to change that. So let's get back to this wheel here and see what's going on. So we can see that it freewheels forward, but maybe the, the cassette's stuck on something. Maybe the, the free hub is done. So the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, remove the wheel. So we'll just take the quick release off the brake open up the skewer and when it's on the stand it'll just fall out we just kind of don't even need to use our hands to get it off the chain and as you can see here the uh, the cassettes loose i checked the uh the lock ring here there here's a better view you can see the cassettes loose and there's like a space between that last cog and the lock ring you can also see that the the lock ring is not like it's it's past flush with the lock nut so there's our problem right there and we'll just uh, remove the lock ring. Let's see what we got here, clean it off. It's a SRAM. Now, I know it's a it's SRAM red, <laughs> but uh, you know, gotta keep everyone guessing. So we're just gonna put the lock ring back on and it was tightened to spec, but it's still loosened off. So we're just gonna tighten it as tight as we can get it. There we go. So you can see that the axle lock nut protrudes further than flush from the cassette lock ring. And that was the problem. It was getting stuck on the dropout. So to replace the wheel, we just kind of line it back up with the chain, put the chain on the smallest cog and it should just slide right back up in. What we do is we quickly tighten the skewer. It's in, but we want to do something else. We take the bike, we put it on the floor, and we unlock the skewer and then jiggle the wheel and lock it back up. As you can see here, I'd already cut the cable, but since now I'm going to change the cable, I'll, I'll just show you the whole procedure there. So I cut the cable. We can see that the wheel spins nicely in there. The cassette is moving properly and everything with that problem is fixed. But like a good friend, I'm going to make sure that I take care of all the other issues and we'll just remove the rear cable just kind of slides out and this cable is not bad it was just the end is kind of frayed what we do is we just replace that rear cable we do a good job and we reuse that other rear cable with the frayed end for a front derailleur at some point in the future maybe on this bike maybe on another bike the thing is we don't we just don't throw it out so we just slide the cable through the housing and check the tension of the cable and then tighten her up and of course we use our barrel adjuster to try to get it perfectly indexed and it seems like it's working okay it took me a little bit this time but you know i'm not going to show it here because this is just more of a kind of a highlight it is very basic stuff but for the sake of my buddy uh you know i'll just do it show him now one thing we want to do is check the other barrel adjuster and it was kind of stuck so i just took pliers lightly moved it and now it moves freely again and now i'll just move on to this bar tape here you can see i got alien pros white <laughs> so i'm giving them white and i clean off the bars just to make sure all that gummy stuff's gone residue and one of the shifters had just kind of slid down a little too far so i'm just going to realign it and i'm going to just start taping here i had to cut a little piece for the, uh, the clamp cover. That's not a big deal. They give you plenty of tape. I'm just gonna start taping here. And I think I'm gonna do a figure eight pattern because we wanna make sure it's as strong as possible and it won't unravel for this guy because he goes through bar tape like crazy. Now that said, I'm gonna do a good enough job but I already know that he's going to go through it in some way. He's going to put stuff on the bars. It's going to loosen up the bar tape prematurely. Here's how we cut it. We just kind of check our angle. And we won't overcut yet. We'll just see what we can do here. And Well, that looks pretty good. It's not too bad. And like I said, this guy here, he goes through bar tape like crazy. He, he doesn't care about aesthetics. So we'll just do a good enough job for him. Keep it nice and cheap. And there we go, it's nice and taped. That doesn't look too bad. And the other side's done, there's no need to really show you. There we go, it looks pretty good behind the clamp. I noticed that the front brake is a little loose, the tension's a little loose, so we'll just use the barrel adjuster and tighten it up. We know our wheel works well, everything's working fine, brake is fine, because we jiggle the wheel in. 
I hope this helps you out if you ever come across this kind of problem. Instead of going immediately to a brand new wheel or spending lots of money on a diagnosis, you just find a guy like me, a good friend, who will take the time to and have the experience to figure out the problem for you. If you want to see uh, the longer version of this video, or if you want to see me work on any other bikes, you can click right here.